Dr. Burton. Dr. Burton, uh, what is the broader play here? I mean, we know the interests, uh, China's interests, and also the U.S. interests. And we also believe, if we look at it in and through structural realism, that yes, there's the uh, existing power, there's the emerging power. Does it necessarily lead to conflict? Is China entering into a Monroe Doctrine of sorts, of its own? Well, well, thank you very much for having me on the show uh, today. And I mean, to answer your questions, I think, you know, there's a couple of things that should probably be pointed out here, which is that, you know, part of the reason that China is doing these simultaneous exercises is to basically demonstrate both to itself that it is prepared to be able to take uh, to respond to any kind of threat uh, from several different fronts, but also to, you know, there is a public dimension here, which is to show that it's ready to be able to do so. And I think this is very much directed towards the United States, which the which China has recognized as a strategic rival in its most recent, uh, you know, a white paper on defense. But more broadly, I mean, China sees itself uh, or see, rather sees, you know, the, the littoral, the coastline, the, the, the seas that are around it and also, you know, Taiwan and the South China Sea as, you know, it's the pri as, as the principal areas where, you know, sort of a potential, you know, conflict may come from. I mean, if you think about, uh, you know, the way that China sees the world broadly, you know, it sees things in, in, in sort of concentric circles, you know, with, you know, the party and the homeland at the center, that is obviously its top priority. And then sort of from that spreading out towards sort of regional areas, you know, sort of regional uh, borderlands like, you know, Tibet and, and Xinjiang, Xinjiang regions. Uh, and then, of course, Taiwan, and then and and the coastline, and then further beyond that uh, to to other out you know uh, external interests. Um, and so, for that reason, China sees its position as primarily defensive. Uh, it sees it, its 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 a uh, its positioning here, its preparation as one, more one for defending any kind of attack coming to it. Uh, although, obviously, you know, here in the West, we're sort of looking at whether you know the Chinese are are looking to become a bit more aggressive and more assertive in the South China Sea as well as towards Taiwan. Right. So uh, 